Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatla with another new tutorial series. I'm going to start a new tutorial series about Autodex Revit. I will try to cover art architectural portion as well as a structural portion of Autodex Revit in proper way, how much I know. And also in our channel, there are many video available. I mean, there are many civil engineering related video available so if you want to learn about that that link are given in description so first of all i'll open our software revit i'm using revit 2017 and uh, actually the all latest version their work procedure are same so nothing to worry and i hope you will uh, understand if you focus on that tutorial series then maybe you will understand everything So here, um, they have some simple figure. Okay, this is for architecture, for a structure, and this is for uh, they have some structural project, and there are some architectural project. So uh, first of all, I will just simply open a new project, so new template type. So they have no template. You are seeing here they have no template. So you have to select so I'm just cancelling so if we click here for new okay and you will get many many project here okay they have many project already have done here so if you need that you can use any of that project no problem you'll be able to use any of that project so see here they have many thing actually okay they have many template that are available so if you want to use that actually i'll show you about everything day by day uh, and i hope you will stay with me for that so i'll just cancel that and if you have any new project so you can click here so i'll just click new as we are going to start a um, as we are going for new project so here the um, template file none it's okay and from her project or project template so i'll just click okay so from here you have to select which types of unit you want to use Impre imperial or matrix so i'm just going to use that and we are able to change that later so it's creating a windows so when we are here we're seeing here a new interface with something here so here this is uh, for architectural part of our work okay this is for architectural part of our work and this is for a structural part of our work so here we'll use for the structural analysis and design as well as detailing like that so here this is for uh, architectural uh, work and here this is for a structure system so they have many things you will get uh, some extra features here and here insert annotation analysis and i'll just come here manage okay so when i'm here the manage then from manage uh, i'll just go project unit to change the project unit what you need actually the project unit so there is the common a structural so if you say structural just see they have many unit to it okay as a civil engineer you know that many structural unit we need so here it's available and here is the format you can change that as per your requirement or you need actually right you can change anything you need here and uh, common this is the for electrical so this is sorry this is for piping and uh, this is for energy so as per your requirement you are able to change the unit so this is common this is some uh, com common unit i will use the structural unit when i will work for a structural purpose and here also you are able to use decimal symbol or a record actually and uh, when i'll work then you will understand about that i'm just okay. and now i'm not going to change so here i'm just here your format okay so i hope uh, it's okay i'll just otherwise if you want to use that value like 
to the nearest one nearest six nearest one inch so like that you can use that and I'm not going to change anymore I'm just cancelling cancelling okay after that after completing our project unit this is the most important part project unit after that I'll just go for project information so I just come here for project information see the organization name so suppose S O C E school of civil engineering civil and uh, the building name okay x y z and ethor here the ethor this is the energy analysis if they have any then project issued it okay so you can uh, give here uh, 19 to 2021 like that then project status client name okay so so here project act address so as per your uh, project number project name so as per your requirement you can just give here the information and they have uh, some option and after when it's done then simply click okay right so when it's done when that process is okay now just click here that plus sign okay then simply click here floor selling then floor and structural plans so you will see here many things okay and here also they have many things we'll change that okay we'll change that time to time and i will show that how we use that option so if you just double click here you are able to change the data here and here for selling if you double click here you are also able to use that option right so uh, nothing to worry about that because uh, first time it's difficult to understand but uh, time to time i hope you will understand everything okay so here's the here is the thing actually and i hope it will be okay and by clicking here right click by clicking here right click you are able to open just you can click here open if they have anything then uh, by right clicking here just uh, create a view template from so they have many things if you click here so you can create new one here as per your requirement i'll just show you about that in later so um when it's done then i'll just click here and then save as then save template and i'll just save that i'll save it in desktop i'll create a new folder because i will use that template for our work template one okay it's okay then save so it's done then i'll just close that so in this way we are uh, i mean we'll Firstly, we will prepare our rivet template and after that in our next lecture, I will show you that how will it start working. So thank you. Thank you very much. Stay connected till next video.